Have you ever heard of a computer that can solve a problem in just two minutes, while the world's fastest supercomputer would take over seven million years to do the same thing? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. A company called Xanadu has just built a quantum computer that did exactly that. This new computer doesn't use regular electricity and heat like the computers we know. Instead, it uses light. Yes, light. It works with tiny particles called photons that don't feel heat. That means this amazing machine can run at room temperature, which is something most quantum computers can't do. In fact, this machine is so special, it could be the beginning of the first quantum data center in the world. Let's take a step back. Over the last few years, we've seen huge progress in AI. You know, things like smart chatbots and robots that can think, speak, and even draw pictures. All of that has been made possible by powerful computer chips called GPUs. But now those chips are slowly hitting their limits. They're getting better, yes, but not fast enough to keep up with how much computing power we need. So what's the solution? This is where quantum computers come in and they could change everything. Quantum computers are not like regular computers. They don't just process information as zeros and ones. They use something called qubits, which can be both zero and one at the same time. That gives them the ability to do massive calculations much faster. And the best part? Xanadu's new quantum chip already achieved something called quantum supremacy. That means it did a task no regular computer could do in a human lifetime. The name of the task is Gaussian boson sampling. And yes, that's a super complex name. But just remember, it proves that this computer is way ahead of anything we've seen before. Now let's talk about what makes this quantum computer special. While other quantum computers use electrons or ions, Xanadu uses photons, particles of light. This is a big deal. Why? Because most quantum computers need to be kept in super cold freezers, colder than deep space, to work properly. That's because their tiny quantum bits are very sensitive. If there's even a little heat or vibration, it messes things up. So, building a big quantum data center with millions of those old-style qubits is nearly impossible. But with light-based qubits, we don't need that. Photons don't feel heat. They're stable. That means no freezing, no giant machines, and no huge energy bills just to keep the computer cold. And there's something even cooler. When we use light, it becomes a lot easier to connect these computers. You know those fiber optic cables that bring the internet to your home? Those same cables can connect many quantum computers together into one big network. This could lead to quantum data centers that are faster and smarter than anything we've ever seen. Imagine your favorite AI tools running on quantum computers instead of GPUs. The speed and intelligence would be on a whole new level. So how does this magical computer actually work? Well, it all begins with a laser. A single beam of light is turned into pulses. Each pulse becomes a qubit, or in this case, a light-based quantum bit. These pulses then go through a tiny loop called a ring resonator. That's where something amazing happens. The light gets squeezed, not like squeezing a sponge, but in a quantum way. It creates what's called a squeezed state, which is just a fancy name for Xanadu's version of a qubit. From there, the light travels through something called beam splitters. These tiny tools take the light and split it or mix it with other light beams. When this happens, their quantum wave functions start to interact with each other and the qubits begin to entangle. Now, if this sounds confusing, don't worry. Just picture this. You throw four pebbles into a still pond at different spots. The ripples start to spread and crash into each other. That's sort of what's happening with light inside this quantum computer. The beams get mixed and entangled, and by the end, all the light waves are dancing together in a way that creates powerful and unique quantum states. These states are what do the heavy math. But unlike normal computers that use gates to calculate, this chip uses a clever trick. It waits until the very end to measure the result. That's where the real magic happens. At the final step, Photo detectors count how many photons, or light particles, made it to the finish line. Usually they can count up to seven or eight. 
They measure all the paths the light could have taken except one. This moment is called a projective measurement, where the whole quantum dance collapses into one final answer. And here's the twist. Before the measurement, we don't know exactly where each photon will end up. It's all based on probabilities, which makes quantum computers so powerful and so mysterious at the same time. And because this is all done with light, guess what? These quantum processors can easily connect through fiber optic cables, the same ones used for your home internet. This means multiple quantum chips can work together as one big brain. This is what scientists call a quantum cluster. And this is what Xanadu has now built, the world's first real quantum data center. They call it Aurora, just like the Northern Lights. And it's powered by a chip named Borealis, which is also a nod to those magical lights in the sky. Aurora connects four photonic server racks using only fiber optics. One rack holds the lasers, while the others handle the actual quantum calculations. All of this works at room temperature, with only a few parts needing cooling, about 10%. That's a huge win. No cryogenic freezing, no massive fridges, just regular air and light doing mind-blowing math. Now here's the part that makes this breakthrough even more exciting. I got to hear directly from the man behind this project, Dr. Christian Weedbrook, the CEO of Xanadu. He said the team didn't just build a quantum computer, they built a system that is modular, scalable, and networked. That means the computer is made of smaller parts that work together like a team. It can grow by adding more server racks, and it can connect with others through simple cables. In the pictures of Aurora, you can even see the yellow fiber optic wires that link everything. Those tiny wires are carrying light, the photons, that do all the quantum work. That's something no one else has done before, and it could change everything about how we build powerful computers. Now, even though this computer works at room temperature, a tiny part of it, just about 10%, still needs some cooling. That's because the special photon detectors work best when they're cold. But the good news? There's nothing in the design that requires cooling forever. As better detectors are made, even that small part could be cooled less. Most of the system, 90% of it, runs without freezing. That makes it easier to scale, cheaper to build, and much more eco-friendly. And since everything stays in the light domain, there's no need to convert the signals from light to electricity and back again, which saves a lot of energy and time. One big challenge left is something called optical loss. This means that as photons travel through the system, some of them get lost or scattered. If too many are lost, the computer starts to behave like a regular one, losing its quantum advantage. That's why Xanadu has declared 2025 the year of loss reduction. Their whole team is now working on improving every little part so that fewer photons disappear during computing. Once they fix that, we'll be even closer to a real future where quantum computers solve problems that today's computers just can't handle. Now let's dream a little. Imagine a data center the size of a football field, full of photonic servers, all linked with fiber optics, working together in perfect harmony. That's what Xanadu wants to build by 2029, a full-scale quantum data center that's not just cool in design, but warm in temperature. No massive fridges, no super cold labs, just light doing math. And let's not forget, this isn't just about speed, it's also about understanding the world in a deeper way. Quantum computers might help us learn how nature works, discover new materials, or even find cures for diseases. Like the great scientist Richard Feynman once said, nature isn't classical, it's quantum. To truly understand it, we need machines that think in quantum too. So, what do you think? Are you ready for a future powered by light? Let me know in the comments. I read them all. If this video blew your mind even a little, go ahead and like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. That way, you'll never miss out on the wild tech breakthroughs we explore every week. And if you want to support this channel, just hit the bell icon and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.
See you in the next video.